has anything the Jets have done done anything to alter your mindset of what their needs are going into the draft? Well, I think it's, it's it still boils down, as Todd said. To, you can say the across out wide receiver because you have Corey Davis. That was obviously a need. Uh, you think about Denzel Mims, his emergence. You hope in year two would really come along with the veteran now and Corey Davis. Mm-hmm. The tight end position, you could, if you move down, look at Kyle Pitts as an option there. If you moved off of two down a little bit. Uh, yeah, they're thinking, obviously, when you bring in a guy like Carl Lawson, who's had his moments getting after quarterback. It's not outside of a finisher, but he, he's disruptive uh, when he came out of Auburn. He's had a couple of really uh, productive years getting after the quarterback. They're not necessarily a sack artist, but a guy can bring some heat. Uh, so that can be somebody who can give you a little bit of that outside pass rush. But uh, I think when you look at the quarterback situation there, that's the, the, this is going to define Joe Douglas. I mean, this is the most important decision any GM has made in a long, long time. Because you have a quarterback sitting there in Sam Darnold. I know Todd loved, a lot of people in the league love. Go back to his pro day when they were raving about him. Go back to the when he, the draft when everybody was raving about Sam Darnold and thinking he was going to be elite. Now Josh Allen's elite. He's not because of circumstances. And th- yeah, that's where, again, it wasn't his guy. He did not draft this guy. That doesn't mean you didn't love him coming out just because you didn't, you don't have to cut the cord from a quarterback just because you didn't draft them. So I think singly, I, Todd, I can't think and feel of a lot of situations where this decision at the most important position in all sports quarterback, you got a young Sam Darnold and you got a second pick that could represent Zach Wilson. You're making moves. You always draft picks. You brought in some free agents, nice signings there, but ultimately you're going to send Sam Darnold pack. And if you do, how does he perform where he goes? And how does your quarterback, if it is Zach Wilson, perform? That's your career right there. So you better make the right choice. And it's not an easy call. I would stick with Sam Darnold. I'd be interested to see what you feel and you, Todd, think. I would stick with Sam, make a move off of two, move down, and look at Kyle Pitts. That's me. What do you guys think? I'll make it quick because I know people care more about Todd's opinion than mine. Uh, I am actually in favor of moving on from Sam Darnold this offseason. And as I've said, if a Deshaun Watson trade is at all available, I can't think of a price too expensive to pay for Deshaun Watson. I just think that highly of a 25-year-old. Yeah. 100%. Um, yeah. And then in terms of draftable quarterbacks, you know, and, and I know that this has become a, a popular phrase now, so I can't even coin it as original, but you, know, you want to reset the clock on your quarterback and your timeline. I think drafting your quarterback at number two, whether that's Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, or whoever you deem the best non-Trevor Lawrence prospect, I am in favor of that GM and head coach get to pick their guy. Uh, but Todd, I, I think there's a chance you may see it differently. Yeah, I, you know what? I would personally stick with Sam Darnold knowing what I know but I'm, I'm not in the building every day. And, and I've said this before. I don't know what his confidence level is. I don't know, you know how, how he feels about being in New York. I don't know if he wants to move on and, and go get a fresh start somewhere else. So those are the, the things that we, we can't predict and we, we just don't know at this point. Um, but I, I, to Mel's point, in addition to making the decision on the quarterback, either Sam Darnold or presumably Zach Wilson from BYU at number two, the, the second part of the most important decision for, for Joe Douglas in his career is going to be what you do with that number two pick or what you're able to get for Sam Darnold. Because if you're going to move Sam Darnold, you want to get a good price. And I think that's part of what's going on right now. And if not, then you want to move out of that number two spot. So it's choosing between the guy you have who's really good and you know you have not supported him or the, the young guy who's going to come in and you're going to have to develop and no matter what, there's got to be a trade involved, trading Sam out of there or trading that number two pick and trying to get really good value for that because you've got all these other holes on your football team that you have to, you have to patch up. I mean, I, I think we're going to keep talking about this for five more weeks. There's just no two ways about it. There are two instructive points to it. One is obviously what happens in the draft. The other one, which the Jets don't have to make a decision on, but they could would be the fifth-year option for Sam Darnold. If they exercise that fifth-year option, which they can do now at any point, and that would cost them around, I think, $18 million in 2022, fully guaranteed, you know, that might tell us something about how they feel about Sam, right? You're committing $18 million to a guy. This, I mean, it's not Patrick Mahomes' money, but you don't want to throw $18 million at a guy that you plan on moving on from or making your backup quarterback in short order. So until either of those things take place, feels as though we're going to be talking about Sam Darnold and where he might be other than New York up until past the draft. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.